today is March 23rd of 2024 and today marks 21 days until we get started on our seven day um, journey to Alaska uh, on the Norwegian Blist. I'm going to start with the why. Um, so this goes all the way back to probably when I was maybe 12 or 13 years old. My mom has always expressed that she um, didn't want a funeral of any type. Uh, she didn't want uh, people to uh, gather around falsely or sincerely um, and mourn uh, the loss of her. Uh, she is a firm believer in, if you want to celebrate me, celebrate me while I still have breath in my body type person. Um, and so she really um, always wanted her ashes spread in Alaska uh, when she passed. And um, <laughs> that is a... Uh, that is going to be one of the harder parts of the journey because March 20th of 2023, um, my mom uh, passed away uh, from Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, we had the beautiful blessing of having her here and um, I, along with other members in the household, uh, served as her caregivers um, up until her last breath that she had. Um, it was very sudden. She was diagnosed in August of 2022 um, and passed in March of 2023. Uh, we were very blessed to have a lot of great nurses, a lot of uh, great help and service uh, throughout this whole journey without them uh, and the support of my family. I don't know if I would have been able to really make it through, um, but I am, if all of y'all know me, I am a woman of my word and I promised her two things. I promised her that I would never put her in a nursing home um, and I did well with that promise. And I also promised her that I would follow through with her request in spreading her ashes uh, in Alaska. Who knew? Let me start off with the first cost of everything. So when you say that you want your ashes spread, you know, you don't really think about, you know, the environmental issues or the cost of how everything is gonna work out. You just kinda just put that out there. So tip number one, research your stuff before you make your kids promise something. I'm just saying. Um, so due to some of the costs and the restrictions of uh, the ashes being spread, meaning that there's only certain places that certain things can be spread in certain areas and how you're gonna get there and everything else, um, we decided, or I decided, um, the best way to honor that is to, uh, send this off over to a company that will take your loved one's ashes and incorporate them in some type of blown glass art. And thank you, Renil, for helping me out with that, um, and providing me with that information. Uh, the company that we used were Spirit Pieces and absolutely beautiful. It was a wonderful journey from beginning to end. Um, they very much took care of all of the um, material that we sent. Um, so it worked out well where we didn't have to send out all of our ashes, but just a few tablespoons um, that they needed. And, you know, of course I keep the urn here with the rest of the ashes here. Um, but what I got were five beautiful pebbles um, that I keep in this container right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. 
that Kate had her is. Pay no attention to the hand. I had to have hand surgery earlier this week. Um, and I was able to get five pebbles. One of whom I gave to my brother. And I asked the glass maker to make all of them in a various shades of blue. Um, as that was her favorite color. Blue, gray, white. And so those were her favorite colors. So here... Um, we're going to be taking these pebbles and we're going to be leaving these at each port of call. Um, and I thought that this was the best environmental um, way of making sure that she gets there and making sure that we uh, spread the ashes for her. And so, um, with that being said, it goes into the first check mark of the budget. Um, we chose Norwegian uh, because uh, we know your girl is a little bougie. And so, um, based off of the comparison of the other boats uh, from the other cruise um, lines uh, that we saw, I felt that Norwegian's boat, uh, the Bliss, would provide me enough room to grieve because this is still a grieving uh, situation um, where I didn't feel that I was going to be on top of a lot of people, um, but provide me with the accommodations that I am now accustomed to um, and expect off of a boat. So uh, this will be our first time on Norwegian. So I'm excited about that. The second part of this video is getting down to the cost, the cost of everything. So I will go into the total price and then I'll break down um, some of the items within the price. Um, and I will let you know that while this trip is expensive, um, I could have gotten it for cheaper. And you guys, y'all probably could have gotten it for cheaper, uh, for sure. Um, but based off of the choices that I made, um, and for my own preference and comfortability, this is the amount that we have put out thus far, knowing that it's probably going to go up a little bit more. Um, at the end of the day. So the total amount is $8,496. Uh, $8, Ooh, not $84,000. Not $84,000. Uh, $8,496.68 to get us to this trip. What is that? What is that amount? What is it? Well, starting off with the stones that I uh, sent off, um, that came in at a beautiful $345.61 um, for five of those stones. Uh, I think that it was worth every penny. Um, they came out really pretty. I'm struggling with even leaving them uh, at the port of calls. I kind of selfishly want to keep them for myself, but that would defeat the purpose. Um, the airline tickets that we're um, having is with American Airlines, um, only because I have mileage with them. I don't travel that much by airplane, but I have mileage with them, and I also have a, a credit card with them, so why not? Uh, the tickets were $1,764.05, but that is a round trip. Uh, non-stop flight from Charlotte to Seattle and back from Seattle back over to Charlotte. Um, and I'm staying not in the economy, not in the basic seat, but a one step up, but definitely not in first class. Um, but it's a little bit bigger seats, um, a little bit more comfortable seats, uh, because this is going to be a six and a half hour flight. So, um, yeah, definitely want to be comfortable in the plane for that. 
the hotel that we're staying at is the Marriott Waterfront. Um, and it's right exactly across the street from the pier. Uh, we're getting on Pier 66. Uh, so whenever we get ready to check out of the hotel, I thought that that would save us some cost in getting transportation over to the pier uh, to get on there and run the risk of not getting there on time. Uh, the hotel was literally right across the street from the pier. Um, and that was $356. And you know, again, your girl is bougie. So, um, you know, it's a little bit more elevated room. I believe that we have the uh, king-size bed corner suite with a, a water view of the bay. Um, if it sounds fancy, it is because it is fancy, um, because I like fancy, um, so, uh, you could have got out of it for a little bit cheaper, um, with the room, with the room piece of it, but, you know, again, that's me, uh, transportation from the airport to the hotel, um, Marriott does have transportation from the airport to the hotel, but only to the hotel that is near the airport. So our hotel is not actually near the airport. So I had to um, uh, uh, acquire other transportation to get us to where we need to get to. Um, and this was the cheapest route that we could find. Um, they have um, uh, sponsored transportation. I believe that the transportation is called Prime Transportation, um, where you can get various different things, um, whether you want to share your ride with 10 people, four people, or if you want to be private, just you and you and um, whoever you're going with. So they have various amounts of different options that you can choose. But I chose the van that we could share with, you know, two other people. I'm hoping that the other two people don't go. That's what I'm hoping. Um, but we'll see. Um, but if we have to share with two other people, it's fine. Uh, with that being said, uh, it was $75 to get from the airport to the hotel. Um, Important to note that um, you get two free bags. Um, however, you have to pay an additional $10 for any additional bags that you might have for that transportation. So the price actually started off at $56, but after I added in uh, the bags and everything else, it got up to $75 for that. Um, Alaska cruises. I, I looked, I did a lot of research on um, which cruise I want to go with um, and which boat. Um, shout out to the YouTubers that that do all the hard work and um, do all of those videos. Um, people like myself really appreciate um, you providing that uh, information uh, and kind of help make a decision. Um, as well. I'm also reading the reviews, so shout out to all of the travelers such as myself that like to go on TripAdvisor and other outlets to give their honest opinions and photos and thank you for sharing your photos and things because when you have a situation like this, you want to make sure that you get it right as much as possible. Um, and so we went with Norwegian Bliss um, and that uh, ended up being uh, $4,706.02. Why? Why is it so much? Well, again, you yeah, know, I like extra. I like extra things. So, um, I have no doubt that you could definitely get this a lot cheaper um, than what I have. But I got the Club Balcony Suite. Um, it's a little bit more room, a little bit more nicer bathroom uh, to give me a little bit more room uh, to get around in the 
get around in the room. If I say room one more time, y'all can take a shot. Um, but it definitely gives me the area that I need to be comfortable and walk around how I need to and just breathe uh, with everything. Um, I did get priority access because, you yeah, know, I'm a Hufflepuff and I don't want to stand in the line like some muggle. Uh, so <laughs> I got the priority access and I will go into that video once we get onto the plane exactly what this priority access give you. Um, once we get into the room, uh, I bought two extra specialty dinings. Um, this particular cruise comes with the free at sea for those that may be familiar with Norwegian. Um, they have a promotion uh, that is free at sea and depending on how many days, what category of room you have, um, where you're going, uh, you have a certain amount of free things <laughs> that you receive. And I put it in air quotations because you still, if you choose to, because you always have the choice not to participate in the free at sea. But if you choose to participate in the free at sea, you do have to pay gratuity on those services that you receive um, for those free at seas uh, with that. But I thought that it was worth it. Um, you know, I'm not a huge drinker nowadays. Uh, so I don't participate in too much alcohol, uh, but, you know, it'd be nice to know that if I wanted to say, give me a um, goose and cranberry juice, uh, I wouldn't have to pay for it or a martini or something like that. It's already taken care of uh, with that or if I wanted a soda or something like that. It's important to note that with that beverage package that you get free at sea, it doesn't include water. And it doesn't include Starbucks because, yes, Starbucks is on the boat. Can you see I'm obsessed with Starbucks? Starbucks is on the boat. So, um, in addition to the free at sea, I bought two extra specialty dining. So, that gives us four nights of specialty dining uh, because we're in that phase where we like to kind of experiment with um, elevated restaurants. And I've heard a lot of good things about the food on the boat. I'm looking forward to the French restaurant as I love French food. Um, and I love uh, the way that the food is prepared. So I'm looking forward to that one the most. My husband loves steak, so we're definitely going to Cat and Lee's uh, Steakhouse. I believe that's the name of it. And we love Italian, so we're going to the Italian restaurant. And then, you know, we're Southern, so we're going to be very judgmental over their uh, barbecue spot and see how they do with that. Um, and the rest of the nights will be eating in one of their main dining rooms. They have, I believe, three main dining rooms that are included in the fair. Um, so we'll be going there. Um, in addition to that, as I stated, the beverage does not come with the Starbucks. So, of course, your girl had to buy the Starbucks package as well. So, that gives me unlimited Starbucks the whole entire time that I'm on the boat. And I love it. And it takes care of all of the drinks. Um, it doesn't take care of the desserts, I don't believe just the drinks like the coffee or the or the uh refreshers or things of that nature um we also as i stated it doesn't include water um so we bought 20 a 24 pack of water you know of course they have the water the free fountains and stuff but if i get thirsty at night i'm gonna be able to have that water in um in the cabinet um, this also includes gratuities, um, not only just the gratuities for the free at sea, but also additional gratuities. Um, so I had to pay for those, um, as well as we got two excursions, which I'm pretty, pretty stoked about. Um, one is when we go to Juno, uh, we're going to Mendenhall, uh, glaciers, don't 
don't come for me. Uh, I'll, I'll put that in the bottom somewhere if I uh, get it right. And um, an Icy Straight Point, we're going on a city tour of Icy Straight Point. So I'm excited about that. Um, also, the other ports of calls that we haven't got excursions for yet, but we're looking forward to them, uh, is uh, Catch Can and um, Sitka. Uh, so those are the four places that we're going, and then we're going to Victoria um, in Canada uh, because we have to stop there, uh, international water rules laws um that we have to stop at one foreign place call a port so we'll be there uh for that um yeah and then of course you know i have to get clothes uh for this trip so um my clothes are, like i said you could probably get away with it for a lot cheaper well, I wouldn't say a lot cheaper, but you can make cheaper choices uh, than what I made. But I figured that this was for someone that meant a lot to me. And this was not a trip that I wanted to half step on. So I wanted to make sure that um, everything was good to the best of my abilities. And also... Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say 85% positive that I will not be making another Alaska trip. So I wanted to get the best out of it. Um, I'll be making a series of videos for you guys and putting it all in a little group thing. Uh, so this is the first one, the introduction and the why. Then I will be doing uh, a tour of Seattle. What did we do? Um, and give a tour of the room uh, and everything else. Then I'll be doing an embarkation and room video for that. And then I will be marking each day uh, with... Um, what we did at each port and what we did each day because we're going to essentially be on the boat for eight days uh we leave april 13th we'll come back april 20th uh next video that i'll be doing is what did i wear also i'm gonna do oh uh, what did i wear and what did i pack so the first part of the video it'll be what did i pack and then the second one will be a con, uh, what did I actually wear? As you know, as you've heard multiple times, the girl is extra. And so, how does a girl take her whole entire closet? We're going to find out. We're going to find out and still stay within 50 pounds. It was difficult, but uh, I think that I have succeeded. Um, so we'll, we'll find out. Um, so that will be in the next video. And I guess that will mark uh, the next week that I do uh, the video on that. So stay tuned. That's all I got for you. Talk to you later, guys.